athletes to the field of play for the compound of women's bronze medal match. And here they come. The contenders for the bronze medal are here in Paris at the fourth stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup, ready to be announced to the crowd here in Paris. On target number one, representing India, Diyati Zulkarnadinam. On target number two, representing Colombia, Sarah Lopez. Well, an interesting one here. Venom, already a stage winner, qualified uh, via that route. Lopez qualified through ranking. So um, this is just about the bronze medal at the third stage, at uh, the fourth stage of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. And you have to say, on the form we saw in the semi-finals, Venom's got to be the favourite. Yeah, and um, if the bronze medal match of the world... Uh, championships was anything to go by where she if I remember correctly also lost her semi-finals with 148 and then went into the bronze medal match uh, well kind of uh, disappointed um, she managed to uh, shoot a 150 there so um, she knows what it takes to uh, win bronze medal matches on the world stage Both going yeah. left. Yeah. I should have said both going outside of the ten ring. One going left, one going right. Yeah. Clips the line, but still a bit to the left, and she'd adjusted her sight, Lopez. Yeah, she did, um, and I think even though it doesn't seem to be that bad. I feel like there is a bit of a draft uh, coming through the field and it's um, it's playing games with the archers a little bit because we saw it in the, the team rounds as well and in earlier matches where um, sometimes archers will come off the line and think they shot a good shot and their coach will say like, oh, it's, it's out on the right or it's out on the left, so. Yeah, it's an interesting venue as well because often we, we find ourselves in cauldrons when it comes to the finals of archery. But here it's in an open esplanade, uh, tree lined on either side. But I did notice a little bit earlier on that actually the, the wind, if it's coming across the field as the archers look down the range, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do something underneath the, the branches of the tree. So perhaps that's the problem they're facing. Yeah, it's always, the wind is such a tricky thing to read. Um, some people, um, uh, when I explain about archery uh, to people who aren't into archery, uh, they ask, like, do you have, um, like, wind meters on the field? So, y you know, how uh, fast the wind is going. And I always have to explain to them, that doesn't really help you. You cannot say, like, oh, the wind is blowing four meters per second, so I need to aim off this much. Because there's different kinds of wind. There's, like... Um, blustery wind I think it even has to do with like the the air pressure and the humidity like it's it's such a weird subjective thing that you have to take into account um, that most of the time it's mostly just trial and error experience counts a lot and these two have bags of it the Colombian crowd getting right well the Colombian contingent of the crowd getting right behind Sara Lopez here as both arches now seem to be dialed into the middle. Yeah, you, 
we get a couple of good examples here of what wind can do to uh, shots because not only um, does the bow move around but also um, the wind was kind of it almost seemed like it was blowing in our face or there's a lot of movement in the bow of Sarah Lopez especially in that last shot where she was taking a bit longer than what we're used to seeing from her um, but yeah it's especially in compound archery you just need to make sure that the shot breaks kind of close to the mill um, so you can kind of steer it into the into the tender well, a couple of drop points from uh, venom and you have to say down to the wind because she's looking pretty solid in her shot she's not looking like she's making obvious mistakes at least to me no, it, it, well, both of them aren't really, um, and well, it shows in the scores as well. They uh, both shot at nine in the first arrow, and then kind of adjusted and uh, went on perfect from there. So, um, so far, a very good match. An excellent match, Sergio Pagni, the Italian in the Indian camp. Now, uh, just uh, giving some final words of encouragement. Get a good look at the the release aid here. Yeah, and there was a little bit of a of a wobble there. Um, I think that might have just been what we were talking about. The wind was maybe um, taking her sight to a place where she didn't want to have her shot break. And then she kind of backed off a little bit and then continued after her sight was back on the middle. Another one drifting out of the turn ring. I think she got a bit surprised by how fast that shot went off, but her sight was close enough that it still hit the middle. Yeah, a lot of movement there. So the gap has opened in that uh, end. Uh, and Lopez able to sort of laugh off that nine, smile off that nine, which you've talked about before. You've just got to crack on, get on with it. Yeah, obviously, you can acknowledge that you shot an arrow outside of the ten ring, but um, I think she was also laughing because it was very close to the ten, and it was pretty much in exactly uh, the same place where her uh, first nine hit. So it was right out of the ten, um, and it was more like a... Uh, a funny moment for her uh, in the sense that it was like uh, a bit unlucky. And uh, a little bit of, uh, well, you say the archers are their own worst critics, and uh, we've got a good picture of uh, Venom there. She knew that that wasn't going to go where she wanted it to, and th there was even a, a bit of boquondo in there as well. Yeah, and it's more difficult with a compound bow to uh, really do anything to the uh, trajectory of the arrow uh, than with a recurve bow because you have less time uh, after the release goes off, the arrow leaves the bow faster. Uh, and also, you cannot really do anything with the release, whereas with recurve, you can, in your release, already fix something. So there's a bit more you can, you can do there. Venom starts the fourth with a 10. Uh, looks like she's got the weight of the world on her shoulders, but all she's got to do is just keep the pressure on Lopez. Lopez in the driving seat, though. I think I agree with the uh, spotter there. Uh, I don't see a 10 or a 9 asterisk. Uh, I think it hits the line. Second arrow from Venom called uh, a nine measure in venue. So just a couple of drop points from uh, 
Sara Lopez through the first four ends and she has a two point lead going into the last end and three hours to go. She's very much in control of this, but that wind is still blowing. Yeah, and I think that's also the reason that we still see um, a, a pretty um, nervous face on Sarah Lopez. I, I wouldn't say she's very nervous, but she's definitely still on high alert, it seems. She, she knows it's not over yet. Um, she has shot two nines in the previous match in the last end, so... Uh, she knows anything can still happen, but she is in a comfortable position to win this match. It was a perfect from uh, Venom, her first of the match, uh, but perhaps a little too little too late, I think is possibly the, the way she'll be looking at it. Lopez, I think you can see, as Chef was saying, has that air of someone who is still knows that she's got to stay focused in this match. It's not over yet. So here we go. The final end of this bronze medal match between Venom of India and Lopez of Colombia. The Colombian leading by two points. So Venom will shoot first. A glimmer of hope for Venom. She needs a 10 here. Gets another perfect. A 146. So pressure now on Lopez. She needs a 10 for the win and the bronze medal here in Paris. She's done it. She's gone into the nine here. And the door has well and truly been opened here. You called it. Two nines at the end of the last of her semi-final. Two nines for Lopez in the bronze medal match when it was in her hands. Yeah, it was in her hands indeed. And um, I think she, well, she must have known. But also you could see that she knew uh, with that last shot where it wasn't as flowy. It wasn't as, like, uh, almost subconscious. Um, to get through that uh, shot process. Um, the last hour, it almost seemed like she she made the shot herself rather than waited for the shot to break. Um, and that is not the Sarah Lopez uh, that shoots 150-12x. <laughs> like, that's no, a different... No, no. And you, you, you called it as well, that she was on high alert. And that is confirmation that we have got a tied score. Uh, and it was in Lopez's control, but got to talk about Josie Sareka Venom here. Two perfects to finish off the competition. She did her job. She did what she had to do to force this shoot off. Yeah, and her last end wasn't only a perfect. I think it was also three X's. So, um, I mean, talk about putting some pressure on your opponent. Well, it looked like it was all but done for Lopez in this bronze medal match. But all of a sudden, it ain't over until it's over, as we said at the beginning. And we've now got these two athletes going into a one-hour shoot-off for a place on the podium here in Paris. So the, the rules of these, uh, or, or the rules of this shoot-off, is going to be fairly simple. Um, both archers will shoot one arrow, and the arrow that hits the closest to the center will decide the winner so whoever gets their arrow closest to that little little x-ring uh, that little cross in the middle of the target will walk away with the bronze medal Lopez has got to put everything out of her mind here and just shoot this one arrow like it's a brand new match Venom will be 
Oh, please, just to be in this position. Venom to shoot first. One arrow each to decide the bronze medal here in Paris. Pretty good. There is room. But that's a good arrow. Lopez has gone a little bit further out and Venom, well, subject to confirmation, has done it. Sergio Pagni looked down the scope. He thinks she's done it. I think she's done it, Chef. Yeah, I feel like there's no uh, discussion here. Uh, Jyothi Venom's arrow is much closer to the middle than uh, Sarah Lopez's arrow. Well, what a match we've had too. Well, what, three matches in this uh, session already. Absolutely spectacular. Uh, but Venom's grit and determination saw her through and forcing a shoot off. And then she shot a near perfect arrow to take the bronze here in Paris.